हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं की कैसे आप कोई इंसान कोई एक एक्टर उसने सबसे पहला अपना एक सपना देखा एक्टर बनने का सो जहीर वी हैव वी ऑलरेडी रेड अ लॉट ऑफ स्टोरीज अराउंड यू बट आपके मुंह से खुद जानना चाहेंगे कि बिकॉज वी नो दैट यू नॉट फ्रॉम अ वेरी फिल्मी बैकग्राउंड यूर फ्रॉम अ बिजनेस फैमिली तो हाउ डिड ये एक्टिंग का कीड़ा आया कहाँ से you know every time there was a uh, uh, one any hit song would release and uh, you know the steps would get famous i was i would perform that at you know weddings and stuff like that or fir uh, guests aapke ghar pe to mom dad bolte beta wo tu itna acha karte ho karke dikhao unko so yeah and i and i was one of those people who would tell them ki bolo na main dikhata hu i was not oh. the kid who would say kare yaar mama nahi dikhana mujhe i was the one who told them ki mama bolo na main main dance karke dikhao kya so uh, i always had that kida and uh, i i i've been really lucky to be honest i was just at the right place at the right time uh, like you said i was i'm from business background and i was uh, doing uh, the business and uh, i was just uh, seen by salman bhai at my sister's wedding he yeah. spotted you so there i was just i was just dancing there and yeah and it was just uh, the, uh, he was actually not supposed to be there he had some uh, thing that he had to go to rajasthan for uh, and that got cancelled and uh, he he was like you know shaadi mein jana tha to he came for like 15 minutes to meet my sister and wish her and uh, he landed up sitting for an entire hour uh, and seeing my entire performance uh, and uh, the moment i got off stage he was like kya kar rahe ho to i said mai ye kar raha hu uh, you know i do this business and he was like nahi nahi chhod do you were meant to be an actor so uh, once the wedding is over come meet me and start training Uh, and uh, start assisting on films and stuff like that, and I was like, okay, cool, because I always had that kida that I always had to think that marriage is the first one picture to do. I will do business and I will earn money, and then I will produce my own picture and I will direct it myself, and my best friend will uh, write it and direct it and stuff like that. So uh, uh, I always had that kida, and 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 I always had that kida. that actually happened to me i am a jita jata example of that uh yeah so i've just been lucky and uh, a lot of people i mean i've been to a lot of acting workshops and stuff like that where they would you know sit and tell everyone okay uh, it's not just going to fall in your lap you have to do this or do that and i'm like mm. uh, but it actually did fall in my lap yeah. <laughs> So this yeah. story was yeah. actually true yeah. because I I read about this that you know Salman sir spotted you in uh, at your somebody's yeah. wedding didn't know it was your sister's wedding yeah. so yeah. this is a new thing and yeah. then yeah. Uh, you started to train <laughs> and then you assisted him in a lot of movies like Jai Ho and all of that and then how did you get your first break for Notebook because uh, you so so while Salman bhai was uh, training me uh, he would tell me after six eight months I would be like you know bhai. When will the film start? When will the film start? What are we going to do and stuff like that? He's like, wait, wait, you're not ready right now. You're not ready right now. You know, you got to work on this. You got to work on that and stuff like that. And he kept sending me for different workshops, different classes, acting, dancing, martial arts, name it, and I've done it. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, he made me assist on a film. Then he would tell me to, you know, if there was sometimes there were important scenes uh, that he was doing something that he felt I would need to learn, and he knew he was shooting that that day. He would call me. and uh, i would even on films that i wasn't assisting on you would just call me and be like check this out uh, you know learn this uh, this is important for you so that training went on i think after two and a half three years he was like you know you're ready now now let's look for a great script for you and uh, we saw a lot of movies together we read a lot of scripts made he uh, forwarded a lot of scripts to me and um, uh, we had a lot of narrations and stuff like that and then finally we uh, you know locked uh, notebook uh, which was a remake of a uh, iphone called teachers diary 
right. and um, um, so I think I think Bhai also chose that because he knows that uh, he's seen me around kids. Uh, you know, I'm very fond of kids, and and they they are very fond of me as well. I get along really well uh, with kids, so he felt that this would be a nice script to uh, uh, you know bring that side out as well and show that to people. So uh, that's why we showed that script, and uh, then we started working around it. And then he he was like, you know, I uh, as the producer, he was like, I think this person should direct the film. He'd be very good at it, and then. uh nitin sir came on board exactly. and that's how it all fell national into. award winner director yeah. he was there with you oh, yeah. and then salman khan productions and you know everything yeah. came in together and then another young actress who, who oh, she already had a background and then you know everything when everything yeah. fell into place how yeah. did you actually feel i mean yeah. acha chalo ab ab mai mera sapna it was it was co- a huge relief honestly because uh, 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 there were two years of you know a uh, lot of things i mean in the film that doesn't work like that where ha chalo picture banani hai ye picture hai ye script hai director chalo uh, actor chalo aur bana do there are lot of uh, hundred things involved in that so they don't sometimes come together so there were a lot of other films that i was supposed to do okay uh, before we landed up on notebook uh, you know but then it didn't work out i mean we, we started working on the script of the film and then we felt that it's not uh, you know turning out the way we expected it to so we scrapped that then we uh, saw another film we've done a photo shoot with a director and uh, you know uh, we were about to announce the film in two weeks but then there was some issue there as well uh, you know some back and forth regarding whatever the issue was and uh, so there were times where it was just like in niwala yahan tak aaya and oh my film is going to be announced in two weeks <laughs> and that was oh no not happening no, no. uh you know and 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 i'm and i'm so glad as salman bhai uh you know as my producer and uh, you know as my mentor because he would he knew that at these times a guy would be like you would me are you sure was very impatient kare yaar nahi ho gaya or you know this ho raha tha abhi nahi ho raha yes so he would just sit us down and be like you know it happens this is a part and parcel of the industry there'll be times where we'll be very excited about film and won't work out so it's fine right. i'm glad you're getting this experience right now only and uh, he would just calm us down and be like don't worry it's going to happen and you know i'm there and we're going to make this happen it's something nice if, if this doesn't happen something better will happen and uh, uh, honest to god i i feel that uh, uh, notebook was the best thing that happened uh, it was true that uh, i'm glad that the other ones didn't work out yeah exactly because you know it was such an uh, critically acclaimed movie and everything came in together yeah, but you know yeah. you were just mentioning about the struggles that you know over those uh, two yeah. two three years that you had to face but uh, so could you just yeah. uh, after filming notebook <coughs> were the challenges different or uh, something similar because back then you were not a part of the industry and you were uh, you know struggling with your own challenges but yeah. now that you're a part of the yeah. industry so what challenges yeah. after yeah. notebook you've gone through I guess I've I've learned a lot of things from uh, the fact that Notebook did well at the box office. Um, uh, I realized uh, uh, quite a few things, which I uh, I mean I wouldn't change what I already did, but uh, uh, I know how to uh, handle things better from now on. Um, yes, it is. It's been harrowing a bit that uh, COVID happened, and you know, two years were lost. But uh, I'm just lucky that I'm quite a positive and patient person. I mean, I've learned to become patient, but I've always been positive. So um, it's hard when you, uh, you know, your first film doesn't do well. Uh, it's quite a change from right. when your film is about to release and the attention that you get, and you know, uh, you have a lot of people saying, you know, "Arey, we should work together." Thinking that if the picture is released, then you know, right, uh, hit it away, and stuff like that. And then a lot of them sort of disappear after the release of the film if it doesn't do well at the box office. So uh, that's a great lesson to learn. Uh, and not be take it personally. You know, it's it's business. Exactly. Because uh, you know, it's a part and parcel of the industry that you've accepted. Absolutely, that. absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I would have. Uh, you know, it's part and parcel of the industry, like you said. And uh, yeah, so it's been hard, but 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 I've just been uh, keeping a positive mindset. I am very positive in general, and uh, you know, I worked hard. Uh, I, I I I took advice from people. You know, okay, okay. This I'm not the first person this happened to where right. the first film didn't do well. uh so now what how do you how do you how do you get the second one how do you make sure the second one's better how do you make sure uh you know uh you start working again and i got great advice from a lot of people i i, I feel i'm blessed with angels around me uh, i always managed to find a lot of people who uh, sort of uh, love me and support me so i got that and uh, 
I worked my way around it, uh, and uh, you know, and Touchwood, I've got now a great lineup of films uh, to do. But I think in this right. industry, I think the most important thing is patience. You know, there are people who have been struggling for fifteen, twenty years, and then they get get what's due, uh, get their dues after fifteen years. You know, right. uh, for example, even Nawazuddin sir, he he's been Absolutely. in the industry for how long? You know, he came from small roles, small roles, and then finally got his due after so many years. So I think uh, you should be patient and. keep at it keep at it i know it's it's easier said than done because um it's you know everyone's going to feed uh, a family and uh, uh it's not that easy but if you can figure some way around it and manage to be persistent and continue to be patient and no genuinely believe that's going to happen to you someday uh, it does happen absolutely it's it's it was in your destiny but you know after notebook and then your second to the second film that you signed was there yeah. a long gap or that uh, just the day notebook released you got a lot of offers how was it because you know people tend to feel that okay he is he is he is uh, working under salman khan salman khan has his hands upon him so it might be easier yeah. for him you know but uh, so you tell us about the actual instances that took place to be honest i i got quite a few calls after the film uh, where people said we saw the film and we really liked you we liked the film uh, we get into box office and uh, but you were good in the film and we really want to work with you and i still been in touch with those directors who called me 3 years back and said that uh, and we are kind of working things out and trying to make something happen and work together uh, but yeah i mean the lot of people who call you before the film and then they disappear after the release of the right. film right but exactly. i get that everyone wants to work with a with a saleable actor so uh, at this point of time you just i just need people to have faith in me and believe in me and uh, uh, you know trust in my talent and my capabilities and uh, just support me uh, and touch what i do have uh, those people in my life who are supporting me and uh, pushing for me to do better so uh, yeah i mean it it, it is hard uh, for the bit but i think it's all in the sab kismat ka khel hai uh, you know you just got to be at the right place at the right time and uh, things will happen you know not waste time and work on yourself yeah so zaheer uh, as salman sir ne aapko ek uh, shaadi mein spot kiya lekin uh, growing up all those years who was your actual inspiration uh, in the movies who really inspired you to uh, produce that film get your friend on board to write it so who was actually the inspiration behind it But to be honest, I've been a huge uh, fan of three people, four people actually: uh, Salman Khan, uh, Shah Rukh Khan, um, and Govinda. Oh. So uh, you know, um, so I, I've been inspired by all these people. I, I, my, I try to fool around and joke like uh, Govinda. I like to. Uh, I I am been inspired by them a lot. Romance like Shahrukh Khan and then become a dabang yeah, style yeah, to like yeah. Salman. So yeah, so. yeah. So I always <laughs> had that. Okay, okay. You know, I had to romance like Salman Khan. I had to walk like Sanjay Dutt. I uh, yeah. like to uh, do comedy like Salman Khan and uh, Govinda. So I've been uh, inspired by uh, I think a little little from everybody. Everybody. And, uh, I was just very. Uh, I've always been enamored by by the by the film industry in general. Uh, you know. I I I love I I I hate monotony. I think that's the one reason I always wanted to be an uh, an actor and had so much uh, uh, had such a keen interest towards uh, dance and stuff like that drama because uh, you're doing something different every day. Every you know, day. you wake up in the morning it's not going to be like the day before. You'll be doing something completely different and then you move on to another film. I like people. I like meeting new people. I like making new friends and uh, what better place in the film industry because every uh, you know 50 to 60 days you're with an entire new bunch of people. and uh, you know uh, you learn so much i think i think you learn and you you grow as a person and you you evolve when you meet new people and you learn from their experiences and you know you travel the world so i think that the film industry the, the best thing to be an actor because you get all of that uh, you got to play everything you, know, you got to uh, play different characters be named differently so it's uh, of course you know yeah. it's, it's, for everyone you know it's it's a dream to be there's there no, there's no the cellular there's no monotony there's, there's no, no monotony mon- right right correct there's no, because there's no there's no monotony at all and you know in every way is just it's just exciting from travel to uh, meeting new people to uh, working differently every day to using your mind for different things right. uh, you know i love the fact that if i'm doing a film about uh, cricket for instance i would land up playing cricket for 3 months and learning it and you know being better at the sport 
who does that in any other field uh, once you're post 25 28 you're working in an office when would you suddenly randomly be like i'm going to learn cricket now for three months i'm going to learn this sport i'm going to learn this instrument so you do all these things that just makes you grow as a person i love that about the industry or being an actor Right, Zaheer. So, you know, uh, now we move ahead to your upcoming projects. So, I suppose that, you know, yes. movies coming out with <coughs> Rakshi Sinha. So, tell us uh, all about that. Uh, how was it? Uh, because, you know, it's it's a very uh, different kind of a movie. Uh, uh, it's it's not a typical yes. uh, Bollywood movie. It's it's around a subject, a very sensitive subject. Yeah. So, you tell us about yeah. it in detail. I, I can't say too much. But yes, uh, like you, you've seen the promo and you know it's right. a film about, uh, you know, plus size women and the struggles that they go through. Right. Uh, so uh, uh, it's, it's more, not more, it's more or less, it's not the struggles that women go through. So it's not like a list of struggles. It's just a story of two plus size women and the struggles that they've been, uh, which people relate to because I'm sure other people have been through the same thing. So it's not a preachy film. Where, exactly. You know, it's very non-conventional. It's just a film where, so how did you say yeah, yes just to a, it? It's just a film. It's just a film where it, you know it happens to be a story of two plus size women, and uh, uh, I, I, I love being. If you know, I'm, I'm sure you noticed that my my first film also is a very unconventional film. Uh, you know, it's so it's a love story where the guy and girl don't ever meet. Uh, you know, it's shot entirely in the middle of uh, the Dal Lake in Kashmir. It's uh, you know stuff like that. So I like different scripts. I don't like seeing the same. Uh, love story in the same uh, you know kind of action film I like uh, I like it to have a twist and uh, this is a film like that and when I read it I just I was like I have to be a part of this film you know because um, it's an important film it should be made and and I don't have those things you know kare, you know like in uh, Motani or this, the film has to be about me and uh, you know revolve completely around me it's a good film it's a good script it's a uh, I've been directed really very well. It's a great production house. So I was very excited to be a part of this film. And we've had a blast making this film. Uh, you know, because we've all been friends. Me, Sona, Huma, I've all been, uh, Satram, have all been friends from uh, way before. Uh, right. Satram Ramani was actually uh, the first AD on Jeho uh, when I was AD. AD. You know, AD, and it was so yeah. exciting for both of us to work together finally because we always said that Satram will do something, will do And we got the opportunity uh, work together uh, on this film. So it's been a blast uh, shooting this film and and also, you know, working with these girls who've done uh, 25, 30 films each. Uh, so the amount you learn from them and see the way they just do things, it's amazing. So you get to learn so much from them. And, uh, you know, I, I always, even when it comes to sports or anything, I like to play with people who are better than me. So you get to learn more. So, uh, you know, I like to work with people who have so much more experience and who have so much to uh, offer and uh, so much knowledge to give you. So I like absorbing all of that. So that's what I did on this one. Exactly. You know, because in the times, uh, especially in the COVID times, we've all moved to a yeah. lot of OTT content. And, you know, everybody is doing content, yeah. which is not typically, you know, Bollywood. People are evolving. Films are evolving. Everything has been right evolving and you've also selected a very unconventional uh, movie to go to so talking about OTT in particular uh, because you know it's it's not those times when we only have Shah Rukh Salman and Akshay sir it's uh, it, these are the times when there is uh, you know plethora of actors and there's a lot of work you 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 can be really selective in the things that you select so what is your uh, view on ott uh, when are we going to see you uh, doing a series or something what are your plans i am really looking forward to uh, working in a series because uh, i like I, I want to try a different format uh, you know uh, a long format where you have 9 10 episodes uh, i mean, i've been reading stuff i've been offered a couple of things but nothing that excited me uh, you know i don't like doing projects I don't like to work in those kind of films because then there's no creativity and uh, art left in that because then it's just a project and everyone's you know working with the thinking picture to big guy already no problem so uh, I, I look for exciting scripts and I'm waiting for an exciting uh, script to come my way uh, but uh, yeah till then I, I, I'm fully open I don't care OTT pe lao, theater me lao, jidar bhi leke ho. Uh, you know, and uh, if, if, if you're getting a wider reach with OTT, great OTT. If you feel you're getting a wider reach with theater, then theater, 
which you feel there's a wider reach at bandstand with me performing there please by all means make me perform at bandstand so i i don't care the medium really does not matter it's 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 the thing that you know it should reach mm. the audience is what really matters so that was really fun talking with you zaheer and knowing about your entire journey and the upcoming projects and every and we've already have our cast and a new film together ready to be made so it was really <laughs> fun chatting and catching up with you uh wish you all the Thank best you for your upcoming film and for your future ahead hope you stay healthy and wealthy and all good and fine thank you so much ahir thank you so much roshi thank you for having me you've been wonderful